Le bungiti mina ngcholo munto tengi sa iskoti sa ma qualification. Jongo ba mina song funi degree medicine ganja ba five point eight. Pesa la po ba ya nige za ba nige zeni stethoscope au funi one. Guys, we live in a country whereby you can be anything you want to be and there'll be no questions asked. Or you can just wake up one morning and be like, no man, I want to be a doctor. And boom, just like that, so we talked. <laughs> Yo guys, I'm Zainzi and hi guys, hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimpa M and I thank you so much guys for joining me. So guys, I'm sure by now you all are aware that there's like this fake doctor on the loose. Yes, guys, and I want to be shocked or pretend as if I am shocked, but actions when guys I am not. guys, nothing shocks me, shame. nothing, you know. Y'all remember how Tabo Besta fooled top politicians and celebrities while everyone thought what he was dead in prison, you know. guys, Anyway, guys, there's this doctor who calls himself Dr. Matthew Lani. He is a TikToker, influencer, content creator, guys. Okay, the whole country, guys, just learned that this famous doctor is actually not a doctor, but he was just impersonating as one. And he went as far as stealing a real doctor's identity. Imagine. Guys, what shocks me about this fake doctor is that like he has been practicing at the government hospital you know the helen joseph hospital even though the hospital has denied that matthew is employed there but guys man let's think about it you know this guy works in a, in a hospital uh with security guards real doctors and nurses on duty and decides to walk down the corridors like the corridors like and wearing scrubs with that thing as in dignity in the stethoscope <laughs> in, in his neck and no one questions worry hi man because guys in a hospital i feel like especially public hospitals doctors and nurses knows guys with which doctor is on duty you know so doctors and nurses would see a new face walking down the corridors wearing scrubs and no one bothered to report him because now the, ho the hospital denies that or maybe was working there I, guys now i personally don't believe them you know i feel like this guy i don't know like he's pulling a table pasta on us. <laughs> I mean, guys, they hired this guy without doing any background checks on him. And now, obviously, obviously, and also, guys, this uh, Matthew guy was on a Radio 2000 just a few days ago, unpacking the health implications on dangers of using snuff, guys. I mean, guys, like seriously, even a huge radio station like Radio 2000 failed to do a background check on him. Hi, Sham, guys, we are led by lazy people in South Africa, lazy people. But like I said, guys, I am personally not surprised. I mean, we've had fake lawyers before. You all even remember that fake sign language interpreter, guys, at Nelson Mandela's memorial service. That guy was on national TV, guys, lying to the whole world. So, <laughs> but yeah, guys, one thing about this uh, Matthew guy that I'm failing to understand is the fact that he still continues with his lies, even though s 7 G, I I mean, the Department of Health, has opened a criminal case against him, that university distanced itself from him since he claimed that he started medicine day. And the guy that he stole identity from has also came forward, guys, and opened a case of identity theft against him. You know, but the good doctor is like, Oksala, I am a doctor. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I shame. You know, they should check his mental health. Shame. I think mentally, I, I don't know. I feel like mm -mm. in damp, I feel like the paraffin, guys, because there's no way, guys. I mean, why continue like a career camera manga even though a seven G? How's it, guys? Anyway, guys, if you are following on this uh, Matthew story, comment it down below, guys. Let us know what you all think about this whole situation. And, guys, I thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next upload. Bye for now.